And there is evidence of just how evil ISIS really is. The terror group beheaded four Christian children in Iraq because the children refused to convert to Islam. That is according to the leader of the Anglican Church in Baghdad. ISIS turned up and they said to the children, you say the words that you will follow mommy. And the children, all under 15, for them, they said, no, we love you, sir. They chopped all their heads off. And joining us, Juliana Tamarazzi, president of the Iraqi Christian Relief Council. You listen to that, you just want to, I don't know, you want to do it with your bare hands, kill ISIS. I know, Greta, it is absolutely horrifying, but the sad news is that that is not something new that is just happening recently. We have faced this since the rise of Islam, really, Islamist extremism. Since 2003, there have been so many massacres, so many crucifixions, and then these four poor children, younger than 15, Greta, they refused to renounce Isho in Aramaic for Yeshua, Jesus. And uh, there, was, there, there, there are these reports that come to us on a daily basis. I'm connected to people on the ground who say, look, not only we were being massacred because of our religion, we're being ethnically cleansed, we're dying because it's cold, our children are dying because it's because of fever and rashes. Because, Greta, you know, since 2003, the Assyrian Christian community in Iraq, over a million of them have I, been displaced. You know, I, I have been, I, I was there with Reverend Franklin Graham. Yes. We, and I've been in refugee camps. I've seen those Christians. I've listened to those Christians talk. They're living in fear. They don't have food. They've got children walking in snow without boots on, um, you know, and it is incredible what's going on in that nation right now, these Christians. And what can we do? I mean, Franklin Graham, Reverend Franklin Graham just shipped a whole 747 full of coats and boots, but there's a lot more that needs to be done than just uh, put clothes on them. Yes, uh, Iraqi Christian Relief Council is an organization I founded back in 2007. I talked to Cardinal Francis George at the time. I said, what is the Christian community doing for the brothers and sisters in Iraq? And he said, well, this is your calling. Start this organization to educate Americans. And that's what we do. So what can we get? What can we get our government? I mean, how can, what, do you, what can our government do? Because I mean, they've got yes. a lot of money and they've got a lot of power. Yes. You know, there, there are two ways of looking at it. One is the immediate need that must be met. And the other is the long-term strategy that we must care for. The immediate need is donate as much as you can. We need food uh, parcels. We need uh, blankets, shelters, uh, uh, mattresses for these people. Mm -hmm. But also, we have to allow these people to protect uh, protect themselves. Greta. But if, but if, if you've got kids who won't convert to Islam, so ISIS beheads them. I mean, that's just a, you know, I don't even know what to say to that. I mean, and, and as you noted, that's not unusual. You know, the American people need to get them. Islam, you know, these people, ISIS is doing this every single day. These are just ones we know about. Right, exactly, exactly. I believe wholeheartedly that the Islamic, modern Muslim Muslims, Judeo-Christian world must come together. They, we must all unite to really uh, not only renounce, but destroy this evil. Is our modern Muslims doing that? No, they're quiet. Many, many Why? of them are quiet. I think they're afraid. They're just afraid of speaking up. They're afraid of letting go of some other power that they have. A lot of them are brainwashed. Uh, slowly, their children are being brainwashed. For example, in Baghdad, although ISIS is not in Baghdad today, but there's so many sympathizers within Baghdad, and the Iraqi military is stopping them from growing because they're Shiites, really. But, however, we we just have to put fear aside and unite against the evil. And, and, and say so it's not just Iraq, it's not just you know the, exactly. the ones I saw in the refugee camp with Reverend Frankie Graham, it's in uh, northern Africa. I mean, it's been, you know, just, it's just growing. Yes, exactly. It's, anyway, exactly. Juliana, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you, brother. And our next guest is a 20